guns and glitter gun shop visiting Lynn and Sonia their little gun shop in here she's got the cutest little clothes and I already have like two pair of boots with glitter picked out girlfriends have shirts all picked out he's got some guns in there he's licensed to be an LTC instructor now you can already hold some classes His growing, Lynn's growing gun counter. If you're out this way, you have to definitely try these things. This Firebird targets, they're the best. I have these belts. Those are badass belts. So we made the trip from Wichita Falls all the way out to Wheeler to the best little gun shop out here. Everybody's hiding from me. <laughs> anyway, this is a cute little boutique in here. Really, everybody's just come to steal Ruby. She's the, the Ruby she Ruby. is the star of the show. Yeah. While out here in Wheeler, we went to Mel's Burger Joint. I had Cactus Jack Burger, was jalapenos, guacamole, and homemade onion rings were the bomb. Why did we go to Wheeler, Texas? Well, for one, I just need an excuse to get out of town with my girlfriend. So the four of us packed it up and went out there to visit Lynn and Sonia Rector. Lynn has been to three of my firearms instructor courses. So it's always great to be able to visit them and support their business like they supported mine. I look forward to going to other businesses, whether it's their little gun shop, might even pop into one of their firearms classes. So that's why we went. Get together with some girlfriends and to go visit some old new friends. Just got back into town. I guess I didn't pay much attention. I did have the cruise control on while I was up, while driving up there, but it definitely was using it when I was coming home. Ford Tremor is, is smarter than me, I think. I don't know, it can read. I had it on cruise control and all of a sudden I had it at 75, 78. And then went past the speed limit sign that said 60. And then all of a sudden my truck just powered down right down to 60. I was like, what the heck was going on? So I tried it again, put it back up to 75, and then by another speed limit sign, it dropped it back down to, I think it was from 75 down to 70. And it just automatically powered it down. So when I got home, I had to do some research to figure out what the heck was going on. I was really kind of terrified that there was something wrong with my truck. But after a little bit of research, my tremor anyways, it can read the freaking speed limit signs. It just blew my mind up you know being far away from home I was kind of scared at first thought that I did something wrong but it can read fortunately there's a setting on here that I can that we can change so sure enough that's the first thing I did when I when I figured it out but here's my little buddy he didn't get to go with me and he doesn't really care for cars but so I just wanted to just wanted to share with you one small event on the way out there what I learned about my my truck that it can read it can read speed limit signs. It's crazy. My next vehicle probably will be driving itself and I wouldn't even know it. I appreciate you so much and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Oscar, you want to give puppy kisses? Give puppy kisses.